Uh, so what's up, Tribe Builders? I have another <laughs> epic interview here with uh, the amazing Emily Sussel. Uh, she runs the Abundant Yogi Tribe uh, Facebook group, uh, and she's one of our clients in Seven Figure CEO. I got my hoodie on today. Um, and she joined our program at Tribe Buyers Live last year, and her growth has been absolutely amazing. Uh, she's learned so much from this journey, and I wanted to bring that knowledge to you guys today. Um, and Emily, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Andrew. Good to be here. <laughs> Are you sure you can hold it for the whole yeah, interview? Yeah, now that everyone knows that I have to pee right now, <laughs> let's, let's do the interview. <laughs> I, could, I could chug my water and just like have to pee too, if you cool. want to. Yeah, I'm well hydrated. One of my best qualities. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, so yeah, tell everybody uh, what you do, who you help, how you help them, all that good stuff. Yeah, thanks. So I help yoga teachers mainly, and um, we are starting to shift more into health coaches, wellness coaches, and uh, we're we're definitely starting to like help yoga teachers position themselves more as coaches. Uh, but back when we started about three years ago, it, it was mainly yoga teacher focused, and um, you know, I, I was a yoga teacher myself. I really struggled to make it work as a career. I was really struggling financially for a while. And then I figured out uh, a few things and I, I really got a handle on marketing and I figured out how to grow one-on-one -on -one clients. And then I figured out how to build, build an online course and launch a course. And then um, I just started helping other yoga teachers with that. And um, it, is, it is a population that really struggles with marketing. And it's, it's a population of people who are like the most beautiful, big hearted, amazingly of service people that want so much to help others and make the world a better place. But when it comes to the marketing side and, and the, like making money and making it work as a living, they really struggle. And, um, and so it's been such an honor to support them in that way. Yeah. And it's been awesome to see you support them. Um, what are what are some of the big results that your clients have gotten or or if you want to pull out one that you're most proud of I'd love to hear it yeah well I'm so proud of all of them um, but but let's see um, well Ellie Grace comes to mind Ellie Ellie's in London and you know she's she's one of these people that when she came to me she was kind of like either either like we need to make this work or I'm just gonna change careers she was like, I, I can't, I can't do the, like the group class hustle anymore, which is like, if, if you're a yoga teacher or if you know yoga teachers, maybe you've noticed this, that like they teach, they teach a lot of group classes and it's like working for studios and you're an employee and you make like 30 bucks a class. And so Ellie Grace was, was really burnt out from that. And she's, she's making like between 10 and $20,000 a month. Now she has an online program. Now it's a mentorship program for other teachers. Um, and, and she like said to me the other day, she was like, wow, I'm making all this money and, and, uh, I have all this free time <laughs> and, yeah. and that was so exciting to hear that, that, you know, she's, she's serving her clients, she's serving her students, she's making great money. And she also has time for herself now. I love it. Amazing. I love the ripple effect of coaching because then she is giving back to her clientele uh, and making a big impact with them. Uh, so that's awesome. And she made a scary investment into herself, just as you made a scary investment into yourself at Tribe Virus Live into the Seven Figure CEO program. What was that experience like? Yeah, I loved I love talking about that story. Um, and, you know, like I was thinking about this this morning, I actually want to preface it by saying like this, this memory came to mind of like years ago before I knew about you, before I came to Tribe of Buyers. I, I remember I was going to check out Landmark. I was going to like a Landmark meeting and um, my parent, I was living with my parents at the time. And I remember that my parents were like, don't bring your credit card. They were like, leave your cards at home. They're gonna try to sell you. They're gonna try to sell you into their coaching program. And I, I did leave my cards at home and I didn't sign up for Landmark because I was in that mindset of like, oh my God, no, don't let people sell me something. And um, I was thinking back on that today and I was like, I was like, oh, that's interesting. My my parents like really didn't want me to invest in myself and like really didn't want me to like grow and, and like transform. And so then like a few years later, all kinds of things have, have happened in my life since. Total mindset shifts about all kinds of things. 
and my good friend Ellie Aaron uh, invites me to your event. And at that point, like I had a Facebook group, I was definitely like already making some money from it, um, was like seeing the potential for it. But but like was was very open to like like I saw that what you were doing was helping people build build seven figure businesses off of Facebook groups and I was like that's a no brainer I need to be there. Um, I also had never been to San Diego and I I love California and I was like I really want to go, and I went to your event. I I remember that you guys put in the event page like yes we're gonna make you an offer at this event. And I remember it, I actually remember the copy. It was like, it would be out of integrity for us to not make you an offer at, at our event. And I loved that, that upfrontness. I loved that honesty. I did bring my credit cards. <laughs> and, um, and, you know, I remember it was like day two of your event. And I thought that was really interesting that the offer was made on day two and like not, not a few, um, like the last day. Mm -hmm. um, it was day two and like, yeah, you guys were up there offering this, this year long mastermind program. I had been hearing for a while that mastermind programs are an amazing way to accelerate in your business and surround yourself with like-minded people who will elevate you. And um, I was sitting there and I was like, wait a minute, I think I'm going to do this. And <laughs> I definitely did not go to your event thinking that I was going to in invest $25,000 is, is what the price was at the time. Um, and I hope you don't mind me sharing that. Uh, That's cool. Yeah, I don't, it's, it, it should be more. I hope it's more by now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I did not think I was going to make that kind of investment. And I was sitting there just kind of like, what's going on? Like, who is this person that all of a sudden I'm becoming in this moment that I'm about to take this, this huge scary risk? and I, I felt like I was going to throw up uh, and it was like the best I need to throw up feeling in the world. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, yeah, so since then you've had an amazing journey and one thing that I want to reflect back to you is you ask amazing questions. Um, I think that's why you're so successful. You ask very effective questions and you don't hold back with asking those questions. And um, uh, I just want to reflect that back to you. But the process, um, entrepreneurship is always ups and downs. And there have been ups and downs with us uh, uh, working together in terms of like 25K a month. And then like, oh, shit, there are so many other things that I need to put in place. And that's why we're there to support you in that. Um, and especially with building a team, it's not an easy thing to do. Um, but you've been able to persevere. Um, you started with us uh, with um, uh, with making a little bit of money and then had a 25K month, I believe, in January. Um, and then you've been just growing, growing, growing uh, from there. So tell us, a, sorry, I kind of just went into everything, but tell us a little bit about your experience and what you've learned from scaling your business and what you've taken away from the program? Oh my gosh, I've learned so much. I don't even know where to begin. I, I've learned so much. I thank you for acknowledging my ability to ask questions because yeah, that's that's huge. I've I've um, you know I've I've really tried to take advantage of it, and um, I have a lot of questions, and and I've learned that. I should ask my questions and and like get them out of my brain and and like to a person that has an answer, especially if I've if I've paid to to get my questions answered. Yeah. Um, so that's been big. I mean, so much of what I've learned from you has been about team building. Uh, it was completely just me when I signed up with you. I did not even have a VA, which is crazy yeah. for me to think now. Uh, and and I have since built a team of three people other than myself. We're, we're now a team of four and we're all women and we're all yogis and it's an amazing culture and, and it's like a totally new reality to not be a solopreneur anymore and to have a team of people that are supporting me and supporting my mission and are like fun to work with and um, that's that's been big. Um, gosh, what else? You know, I think just like the CEO mentality, which like when I signed up with you, I wasn't even really sure. I was like, do I even want to be a CEO? I, I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm still not really sure if like that's completely what I want. But if being a CEO means like 
making great money, doing what I love, helping lots of people, creating jobs for other people, doing like less of the parts that I don't love and more of the parts that I do, then like, yeah, I do want to be a CEO. <laughs> I love it. And you're in that transit, like everybody goes through the same stages and where you're at right now is like, you, you just had a, a really, really good hire in your sales rep that our sales coach, Brad Newman, uh, helped you connect. You guys knew each other, but you fully got integrated and connected. Um, but you're at that point where you're like, oh my God, like leveraging OPW and building a team can be really awesome. So tell me about that experience with your new sales rep. Yeah. Uh, how that has helped. Yeah, so our new sales rep is Ellie Aaron, and she's amazing. Um, and I, I don't know if she's watching, but Ellie, I love you. And I'm um, so grateful to be working with Ellie. And the, the funny thing about that is this is the same friend who invited me to your event. Yeah. Uh, and Ellie and I have like sort of worked together in the past. Like we're both yoga teachers. I, I, I used to like, um, you know, have her sub yoga yoga lessons for my private clients for me and and um you know when i was no longer available to work with somebody i would i would pass along the client to her and so we've always sort of been supporting each other in that way and the other funny thing is that like over the past few years ellie and i have both worked with coaches a lot um we've both been like really developing our business skills a lot and i've focused a lot on marketing ellie has focused a lot on sales and Ellie has been like, I, I see her as like, she's been over there in the corner, like quietly becoming the most badass sales professional in the world. And like, just, she's so good. <laughs> and 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 she, I'm like, she's like, this my secret weapon now, uh, where like, we're just working amazingly as a team. And, you know, not that many months ago, just a few months ago, I did not trust anyone to get on the phone and sell for me. I, I was guarding that. I was like, no, nobody else can do that. Only I can do that, which it was absolutely ridiculous to think now because she is so much better at it than I am. And, and I trust her more than I trust myself on a sales call now. And yeah. um, she, she's just amazing. And we're just like in love with working with each other right now. I love it. Um, guys, if you have any questions uh, for Emily, drop them down below. She's here to uh, support you, answer any of your questions. And I think she's here. I can't see who is on the Facebook Live, but somebody said, LOL, hi. Um, so let me. Maybe it's Ellie. <laughs> let me see. Um, but I, I, I love it. Um, uh, let's see. Um, What's your favorite part about the seven figure CEO program? That's a great question. Um, I mean, I love the relationships. Like I just love getting to know everybody. I, I love the community. I love that like by joining this, like overnight, I suddenly had like this big, amazing family, this like network, this, this like group of people who I, I feel like I belong to and um, who like elevate me because like I see what's going on in the community. I see that people are like doing bigger business than I am. I see that things are working for other people. It motivates me, it inspires me, it, it, it like it lights me up and, it, and it, it, it helps me see like, oh, if these people are doing it, so can I, I'm, I'm part of this with them. I love it. Um, and uh, one thing that popped to mind and I, I can't fail to mention it uh, your VIP day with Jackie and Brad. So Jackie and Brad are, well, uh, Brad's our sales coach inside of Seven Figure CEO and Jackie's a client inside of Seven Figure CEO. And you just love investing in yourself. And uh, in your business, <laughs> you hopped into a VIP day uh, with Jackie and Brad. And uh, I've been I've been yelling at you to finally raise to raise your prices and then they got you to do it. So I want to give them a big, big shout out to uh, Jackie and Brad. Um, but tell me about that experience because that's what a lot of people go through where they're not charging enough, uh, for their programs to really help their clients get a bigger result because people who pay, pay attention. Um, and it can help you scale your business big time. So tell me about that experience of raising yeah. your price and doing your new launch. Yeah. Thank you. This is such a good question. And, and like, I really hope that like, if you are listening 
and and you have been keeping your prices too low and putting off increasing your price or or like just like yeah if you're if you if you like know deep down inside that you're undercharging please listen because this is so important it's like yeah but brad and jackie have been amazing um it was like i don't know it was just like we were in a sales slump we'd been in a sales slump for like a week and it was like late at night and i was just feeling like this is bullshit i need to do something about this and i was like you know i have these amazing people in my network who who can help me and like they're just one message away and mm -hmm. so i was like you know what i'm just gonna reach out to brad and ask him like if if we could do some deeper work together um mm -hmm. i had been attending his calls inside the seven figure ceo and have gotten had gotten so much out of them but was kind of feeling like i'd like a little one-on-one -on -one attention from from this guy because he's he's got like so much more and and i wanted to to get closer to him with with everything that he knows and and with Jackie and all of her expertise and those two are an amazing team. Um, so, you know, yeah, like you had been telling me for a while to increase the price. Um, we had a lot of success launching a beta at 1500. And um, it was like, you know, for with my sales skills, because I was doing all of the calls at the time, that was sort of like, you know, that was where we were at the time. Mm -hmm. And we got a lot of people in, it, we delivered an amazing program. And then originally the plan was just to double the price of that program, charge 3000. And like something about it just wasn't feeling aligned. And mm -hmm. like I had brought Ellie on at that point and she was like starting to take some calls for it. We weren't really closing. Um, something about it was off. There was just like mm -hmm. something misaligned like about the price and about the offer and about selling it and about the people we were talking to about it and then i brought in brad and jackie and they were just like they took a look at my facebook group they they heard about what we were doing and and they like just looked at everything and they were like we think that you should have like a five to six thousand dollar offer Mm -hmm. and and they helped me restructure the core offer and and turn it into a 5000 in full or or 6000 over 6 months uh program and it mm -hmm. was like it just felt right it just mm -hmm. felt aligned and like in that same moment like that same way that like i felt like a yes to signing up for seven figure ceo there was something about the way Brad and Jackie presented these new offers to me for our business that just yeah. felt like like a hell yes in my body and i yeah. like, even though there was some like fear about it and like i don't know if it's gonna work and what if people don't like it and and what if people what if we don't close anybody i was just like you know it feels right and let's try it and and it's worked really well <laughs> i love it yeah and when you, what i found is when you feel totally aligned with your offers that's when you have the confidence to sell it and deliver it better for your clients because you just feel it in your bones that this is the right thing to do so i love that yeah, hundred percent. And and I think for Ellie, it was so much more aligned for her to be getting on the phone for this bigger offer, not just because she wants to make more money, which she does, and that's great, but also because Ellie is someone who has invested in herself so much at those higher levels. And like she knows how powerful it is to make that bigger investment in yourself, especially mm -hmm. with, with growing a business. Yeah, I love it. So before going to Tribe of Buyers Live, if you could put yourself back in those shoes and really connect with the challenges that you were having in your business, what would you say to somebody who is dealing with the same challenges? What should they do? Yeah, so like, it's kind of hard to remember. It feels like a lifetime ago in a way, but I guess, you know, like if you're, if you're doing everything if you're doing everything for your business and you're working too much and you're really burnt out, like you, you definitely need to hire someone like at, at, at least a VA. Um, yeah. yeah. You like, if you, you need to get a VA as soon as possible, if you don't have one, if, if that's the level that you're at, um, let's see, like what else were my problems? I mean, do you remember what my problems were? <laughs> Um, I think a lot of it, uh, I don't know. I can't put myself in your shoes. Oh, I know um, one. 
I, I didn't, yeah. I wasn't using Asana, remember? <laughs> yes, project management, delegation, all that. And I have yeah. to admit to you, I still hardly use Asana. Like we have it and it's set up yeah. and like my, my community manager, our community manager, she does use it. Um, but I don't know, maybe it's just not the right project management tool for me. Um, but it's like, you know, whether it's project management or like whatever, whatever you're like not doing that would take you to the next level, like just you have to get over all of your bullshit reasons why you're not doing it and just trust the people who are ahead of you with this stuff and just do what they say and like just listen to your coaches and implement. That's what yeah. I say. I love it. And and why you're so effective is because you do implement. You ask good questions, you take feedback, and then you're just like, okay, do I'll do this. <laughs> There might be a little resistance there from time to time, but you're you're really good at implementing. Thank you. Yeah. And, and, you know, I've also learned, like, I think there's, there's like a, there's like a spot on the team for somebody who is a hardcore implementer and it doesn't mm -hmm. necessarily have to be everyone. And so like with, mm -hmm. with me and Ellie, like I'm a crazy implementer and she's like, she's like, she implements, but she also like studies deeply. And like, mm -hmm. I'm somebody who like, I'll listen to like the first half of what you say. And before you've even finished the other half, I'm implementing the first half and I might miss the second half, you know, <laughs> like, and, yeah. and it's good. And then there's also people who are like, they're, they're in like deep study mode. And those people are mm -hmm. extremely valuable too, but it's like a balance. And so like, you have to, you have to like check like have yourself in check like are you have you been like deep study mode and you're not implementing anything and you need mm -hmm. to implement more or mm -hmm. are, are you like constantly implementing and like not even paying attention that's like mm -hmm. I'm, I'm like almost doing that uh, if if i had to admit like i don't know if you noticed like on the mentorship calls i miss like almost everything that's said because i'm like implementing the first thing that was said <laughs> <laughs> oh geez that's so funny i love how you said that though like some people are heavy into imperfect or just like taking action and you kind of lose the side of like i need to learn a little bit more to make adjustments and some people are heavy into studying and not taking enough action i'm totally totally yeah yeah yeah, I like, I'm, some... yeah go ahead go ahead just like i'm i'm a very hands-on learner and um you know, if you're listening and, and you're also a hands-on learner, just like really embrace that. And it, it's such a gift, um, especially as, as entrepreneurs, if, if you know that you learn hands-on, then just like get messy and experimental and, and try things. I love that. We, uh, we have some really awesome questions here for you, Emily, if you don't mind answering them. Um, Mary Ann here has a really good one. Um, how have you managed the challenges of the of scarcity with yoga teachers? Hmm, I love that question. And hi, Marianne. I love you. I know Marianne well. I've met her at your event, and uh, we've stayed connected ever since. It's it's uh, Marianne Dougherty, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's such a good question, and um, it's mostly through education. You know, it's like mostly it's it's like I I write about it. I write about it in my copy. I talk about it in, in my videos. Um, you know, I, and something I, I realized recently is that like some of my most powerful free content is actually the mindset work for, for my mm -hmm. community. Um, and so like we're giving them our best stuff and, and like we, in the past we've like given them a lot of strategy, but we're realizing that, and this is also from working with Brad and Jackie that like, if they're in so, if they're so deeply in scarcity that they're not even willing to invest in business resources that will help them grow, then the content they need from us most is mindset work and, mm -hmm. and is coaching around scarcity mentality, abundance mentality. That's been my messaging like from the beginning because my, my business is called Abundant Yogi. Like it's, it's all about scarcity and abundance. Uh, and still it, you know, that stuff is deep, like people, mm -hmm. people's beliefs about money and, and people's beliefs 
beliefs about themselves and like what they're what they're capable of creating for themselves that stuff is so deep and it really does take a, a lot a lot of deep work to help people break through it but it's like consistent messaging about it and like mm -hmm. it takes courage like it, it takes me courage sometimes it make it makes me like shake sometimes to like post something when i know people it's it may be triggering you know because mm -hmm. it's, it's deep stuff but i've i've learned to just stand in it and yeah and and like yeah and and stand stand in my message yeah yeah i love that and sharing the truth and shifting mindsets to help people live a better life 100 percent, and not be in just scarcity all the time and really come from an abundant frame that's huge yeah I love it's, that. it's complete nonsense people think that because of what's going on in the world right now that it's impossible to make money and that they should just not try it's complete nonsense. It is it is entirely possible for anyone to make as much money as they want with the right mindset, the right coaches, the right strategies, the right commitment. Mm -hmm. Totally. I love it. Um, we have we had another question. I'm I'm losing it. It was something along the lines or I lost it. Something along the oh, here it is from fuck, I'm so bad with the names. Majid Ma Mahi? Mahid? I think Mahid. Uh, that sounds right. Uh, let me know if I'm wrong. I don't want to be an asshole. Uh, but he's asking, what's your best tip for lead generation? So if you had to give anybody one tip for generating leads, what would it be? Am I allowed to give them one of yours? <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, the mission post is <laughs> like, the mission post is amazing. It's, it, I don't know, like, is, is that something that you share in this group? uh i we're actually coming out with a training on that so okay yeah, if you want That's that hashtag mission yeah. post down below and i'll send it over a little probably yeah. next week cool yeah i mean i i don't need to go into detail that's like something that that you've given to me that's been a real gift um but like in general um i've been generating leads in my facebook group and Something, something like a concept that that has been really meaningful to me is is the concept of asking for engagement, and mm -hmm. and like this is something I, I teach to my clients a lot because even even before like even without thinking about leads, they're often like, how do I get people to engage? How do I get people to like this? How do I get people to comment on this? Even if it's like not lead generation, and and it's I love it because it's one of these like simple things that seem, it's like so obvious yet how are we not doing like yet we're not doing it which is like well did you ask for engagement did you did you say drop a comment did you did you ask a question did you post something that actually invites people to engage and um so that's played into lead generation a lot mm -hmm. i love that that's a great point some people are just posting content without asking for engagement if you want to get an engagement just ask him a question, ask him for it. I love it. Uh, we have Owen, what's up, brother? Um, he is asking about, he has a VA, needs a project management tool, any organization. Um, I'll, I'll just take that bad boy. I honestly just use Asana and Loom and doc, the biggest piece of advice is document everything uh, that you do. Uh, and then get off your plate to your VA for the $10 tasks. Um, yeah, that's about it. But uh, we have another question here. What's the mission post? Uh, but if you guys want that hashtag mission post down below, uh, and I'll shoot you over the training next week when we have it available. Um, but yeah, you, you posted the mission post at Tribe Buyers Live when we taught it there. What was, what happened? Yeah, I think I got like a hundred comments. <laughs> and um, and then like I missed the rest of the event because I was chatting with leads, like the entire event. <laughs> and um, yeah, tons of engagement. And yeah, that, that turned into a lot of sales that, yeah, we booked a lot of business through that post. I love it. Uh, and for people that are thinking about joining seven figure CEO that have been following us a long time in this, in, in the Facebook group, what would you say to them? Do it. 
It's amazing, you know, and like if you've, ne especially if you've never been part of a mastermind group or if you haven't found the right mastermind group, it's incredibly valuable. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's like, if you're, if you're going to do it, like do it because you know, you're going to rise to the occasion and, and you're going to take advantage of the resources and, and you're going to implement and, mm -hmm. you know, like, and, and you're going to do the work. Um, mm -hmm. But I've, I've often thought to myself that like, even if I wasn't getting results, this is just an amazing thing to be a part of. Like mm. the, the, the network in itself, the, the relationships have been so valuable. And, mm. um, and by really taking advantage of, of all of the resources and asking the right questions, I, I have been able to, I don't know, triple, quadruple my income and, um, we're definitely on track to multiple six figures. We, we might even be there already. I just, I like, I'm just behind on my books and I have to check. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really like, it's been amazing and, and it's helped me make my dreams come true. I love it. And I love your point that, uh, if you're going to invest, like put in the work, uh, and that goes for any program, like that you're joining program or mastermind, uh, it's only going to work if you work. And I love that point. Thank you so much, Emily. Yeah. Um, yeah. And lastly, is there anything that we didn't ask you that we should have asked you on this interview when it comes to scaling your business? Hmm. Is there anything that you didn't ask me that you should ask me when it comes to scaling your business? I mean, I just like to advocate for any women who are watching. And like, if, if you want to ask me anything about what what I think like women need to know about becoming multiple six figure and, and, and seven figure business owners. I would love to address that. Cool. I love it. Uh, <laughs> there's anybody on here now that's a woman that has a question around. <laughs> that. I know your, your group is, is very male, but I, you, you have a lot of amazing women in your community. It used to be, so it used to be 85% male. Now I believe it's 77% male. So we're trending in the, I mean, more, yeah. more females are joining the Facebook group. So. Yeah. And I saw something the other day that like, that, that there are like more, more female millionaires than there've ever been, or, or maybe it was mm -hmm. like more, more f female seven figure uh, business owners. And, and, you know, it's just like, we're still outnumbered, you know, it's, it's, it's still not level. Uh, and, and there's still these, these imbalances. Um, but, if it, may, may I speak to the women just in case they're they're watching the replay? Yeah. yeah, you know, it's like I've learned a lot about balancing feminine and masculine energies and mm -hmm. like the CEO role can feel very masculine. Like it, it is a role of action taking and doing and implementation and like working hard. And there is a way to do it and and keep yourself perfectly in balance. And this is actually just, this is for men just as much because if mm -hmm. men become imbalanced in, in too much masculine energy, they're, they're going to deplete themselves too. Men, men need feminine and masculine balance just as much as women do. Uh, and, and so for everyone, it's like, do the work, implement, take tons of action and like work your butt off, but also take amazing care of yourself and rest. Mm -hmm and and sleep and do yoga and meditate and like invest in yourself and not just in your business investments like invest mm -hmm. in working with yoga teachers i've got a network of 2500 of them if anyone needs an amazing yoga teacher to work one-on-one -on -one with mm -hmm. um invest in yoga teachers invest in meditation and um yeah eat well and and take good care of yourself amazing i think that's a great place to end it Thank, Thank you so you. much. Appreciate you guys, or appreciate you. And guys, if uh, if you enjoyed this, if you got value out of this, hit that heart button, hit that like button. Uh, it helps reach more people. And uh, Emily, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you. See you guys.